people know that she's a face because a lot when i'm walking on the street people like hmm dekha hmm. kahin kahan dekha <laughs> oh and then i only then some two jooti yeah. mai makar dekhi apne <laughs> mai thi wo bhai i've been looked i've been looked up and down in the first two meeting in the first two minutes of a meeting with a very very big director producer hmm. i entered his office yeah and he just sized me top to bottom so firstly i felt like i was being judged, judged. for the way i look you know aise karke pura and wo aankhon mein as women we can we What receive that that more information are. than yeah people are trying to give don't give us credit for yeah. we can tell by the look of someone Absolutely. calling it out the me too movement right calling it out has changed the game a lot Achha. now mm-hmm. i think or oh, did it actually like do anything oh, yeah, i see. i think so to yeah. a very large extent okay uh, where somewhere if it was happening very rampantly and in, mm. in your face kind of mm. a thing now people Same. are like okay that's no, it becomes a it. case i don't know if yeah. it like if someone starts if, you know becomes a uh, say something about it or hmm. it becomes comes into the media and all that the media is also very powerful now correct kalle pyar ki jab promotion chal rahi thi so you had said they asked you who would you like to work in the industry and you said all the khans and then the fourth person was ranveer kapoor You said Ranbir Kapoor in that oh, interview. Oh, I forgot. Oh. Totally. Yeah, I was listening to this interview and I was like, "Do she manifested it from like twenty <laughs> to twenty fourteen? Crazy! Do it just happened, right?" Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> welcome, guys. Welcome to um, ladies versus. Uh, ladies versus we have Hasleen today with us. So ladies versus showbiz, showbiz with God. Hasleen and. Uh, hi guys, I'm Mehak, and I'm Himani. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh Please follow them on Instagram yes. and me also. I follow Shayan. Hasleen K. Yeah. Correct. Uh, Mehak with M H E K underscore underscore M H R. All right, thank you. मैं अपना नहीं बता सकती बहुत ही ज़्यादा वही आदत है. Yeah, Please, please now you have to say. It. Is it some? Is it some flower moon? It's called Arey Yar Himani. Arey Yar Himani. Arey Yar because it's like Arey Yar Himani. Is that your takya kalam? It's like oh, it's people's takya kalam when they look at me like, "Arey yah, arey yah, chukra yah." Arey yah, bus kar yah. So guys, oh my god, embarrassing. Kya soch rahi thi main? Arey yah, chup ho ja. Chup tan kar rahi hai. On that note, welcome, Hasli. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, my introduction. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me, I mean, how as an actor your journey has been so far? So as we were discussing yes. about <laughs> a lot before <laughs> this, uh, we sat here on this couch. Uh, is that uh, in fact it was a revelation to me also because I have never thought in my mind that 2010 would be my first time. But 2009 Nine is when actually right. things had begun for me. Right. I was still in college. I was studying, and hmm. Lavachkal happened. Right. The whole casting team, including Imtiaz Ali, hmm. the director, came to Delhi. Oh really? And they oh. were uh, casting for a few people from Delhi, and okay. one of them was uh, Jazeli Harleen's character. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, it, they were looking for a friend come sister for her. Oh, right. Yeah. For Harleen's character, yeah. and uh, they liked me. Right. They kind of felt like Punjabi vibe hai. Mm-hmm. You know. So they came to your college. Kudi. College no. mein hota ha exactly No this happened in a casting uh, oh, company like office. office So you were auditioning office. I was auditioned hmm. they called me they I was auditioned okay. for it hmm. and they liked the whole look um, Imtiaz Ali met me he was very happy oh. and I was just in awe of him at that I'm time sure. <laughs> Yes uh, I would love to work with you sir oh, wow sir so I was very sir 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 yeah, yeah. and um, Yeah, it happened, and then that was that's where it all began. Started. Love so you it. were doing some kind of theatre before that, or like how did you land up in this Imtiaz Ali audition? So uh, around that time, modelling had started. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and I had done maybe just a couple of odd shoots here and there, based okay. in Delhi only. Delhi. Mm-hmm. So I did my schooling, college, everything here. Oh, what college? I went from? to JMC. <gasps> 
I'm from Gargi. Nice. Hey, do you? <laughs> That's a new clan. Do you clan? <laughs> and South do you clan? South do you clan? Absolutely. Nice. North South, South ka divide apna oh, uh, alag se tha. I used to I really wanted to be in Hindu for obvious reasons as you mentioned uh, uh, Imtiaz Ali huh. because Hindu mein jo bhi society si Mecca, Medina, you know, hmm. yeah. it was all started by Mr. Imtiaz Ali. If Imtiaz Ali sir oh. ever listens to this podcast I'm a big research. Huh? <laughs> 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 His first play was Holi, Achha. which was around the highway movie, which was based out of. So I'm a big fan of. Uh, anyway, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> yeah, you were saying. Um, yeah. yeah. So uh, you were modeling, and then you yes. modeling uh, yeah. started, and mm. then I think you know, like uh, there's a database, I guess, of all models that gets floated mm. around in mm. Delhi okay. to casting agents. So they must have had my number with the photo mm-hmm. and all. So they called me, okay. and uh, I guess their brief would have been Punjabi girl from Delhi. Mm, right. Just the way she said Punjabi, also, yeah. and I love it. I think I I fit into <laughs> I that. I love, love it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And I got casted. <laughs> Very like, nice. It was that easy. You mean you just how many times there were like you hmm. know rounds of auditioning or Look, just like one and all time of that. and just happened. I think two bar me gayi thi unke office me. Uh, one was to give the audition mm-hmm. and one was the look to test. meet Imtiaz Ali. Oh. Uh, but they did. I also think the second thing was meeting him. But I guess that was also to decide. A test. And uh, that's when oh, it yeah, happened. Yeah. Okay. But turns out that you've always gotten your then like, after the story it turns out. Uh, You've always gotten your movie very easily. Even your second movie, you said that it was a ten-minute meeting with the director. I heard an interview. Ha, like that one, yes. Right. Which that was that one? Uh, which was it was Karle Pyar Karle. Ha, okay. It was like a ten-minute thing, and there was no audition, and you were selected. Yeah. Something about you being Punjabi <laughs> helps you. I guess I'm then again, too. I fit into the brief. <laughs> yeah, always. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, i think that time the whole miss india tag was also oh, there okay. so it kind okay. of made things little easier, easier mm-hmm. uh, to be in the news and be talked about and then immediately you called so things became very easy that time okay though after that movie it wasn't easy yeah mm-hmm. it's not like i've always gotten in like the, the first way yeah. i think i must have given maybe 50000 sure. auditions in my life oh, and sure. i've okay. just done four five films hmm. it's hmm. not easy in bollywood it is but not. the start was I mean, Easy, it depends, right? no? Like, but did like did your uh, like when you get the first two? Mm. It was that the first and the second one, right? The yes. Love Ajkal and then Karle Pyar. Karle Pyar. So, yes. when you start that easy, मतलब not easy. I'm not saying easy. Probably you ah. did work a lot, but मतलब इतना ज़्यादा rejection नहीं हुआ. पहली दो बार में आपने audition दिया आपको मिल गया rejection अभी तक नहीं हुआ. तो उसके बाद were your like hopes very high कि मतलब अभी तो रिजेक्शन तो बहुत हुए थे उससे पहले भी अच्छा हुए थे उससे पहले बिकॉज उस दौरान लाइक टू थाउजेंड नाइन टू टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन तो अ लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम हैड लैफ मिस इंडिया हैड हैपन बट देन अगेन आई वॉज इन गेटिंग द काइंड ऑफ वर्क आई वॉन्ट टू अच्छा यू नो आई इनिशियली आफ्टर मिस इंडिया आई थॉट कि अरे आई एम तो गोइंग टू बी ऑन एवरी कवर पेज बी ईजी आई एम तो गोइंग टू बी एंडोसिंग एवरी ब्रांड आई हैव इंस्पायर टू एंडोस एंड ऑल दैट नथिंग लाइक दैट हैपन Okay, reality hmm. strikes. Yeah, there's a hell lot of competition in the market. It's a hmm. rat race there. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful faces coming in every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, um, my so band was gay. Yeah, Bombay. Me, ja ke, me kho gayi. Yeah, thoda. You go, do lose yourself in Mumbai. It's a saying, no? Koi bhi se sapne dekhe jata hai, badi badi aakhon mein sapne, and they just go missing in the rat race that there is in Mumbai. It was. I mean, I feel I felt my first few years were like that. Hmm. Even though this one film happened, but that film also didn't didn't do well. Right, which was uh, Karle. Karle Pyar yeah. Karle didn't do well. In fact, I was so this thing that oh, this is like my debut, debut I'm right. the lead, mm. and I'm yeah. like this is going to be a big thing for me. Right, and uh, people around me, my friends and people from Delhi who had been my friends from the fashion world and industry. modeling mm. industry right. were like you know really yeah, rooting for me. Yeah, and they're like wow, great platform hmm. debuting right after hmm. Miss India. ये भी हो गया वो हो गया दो साल के बाद मतलब हाँ correct correct but uh, because the movie didn't do well, hmm. it just came crashing down hmm. and you know right um, I guess nobody wanted to meet me. The agency that I wanted to be with didn't want to rep me. Oh um, there was you know. Um, if I was initially right after Miss India, it's like you're put on this platform where you're yeah, going to pedestrian. all the right events. Yeah. You're going, right. you're being papped at all the right places. Yeah. Right. You're getting invitations, hmm. and all that happened, and then suddenly there was nothing. Nothing. So just one movie, it either makes it or breaks it for you. And I guess for me, it did break things. Yeah. And hmm. uh, for the longest time, I was 
like maybe this is not my thing and okay. I'm, you mm-hmm. know maybe i don't fit in mm-hmm. self loathing and, and doubting comes in there's a lot of yeah, yeah doubting that happened and also on my so like you said how did it start so for me it was always school like participating in annual days classical dance right. bharatnatyam kathak yeah. odissi always being that you that know hyper child that i'll participate fronting in everything mai to sab matlab mai to stage pe hi raungi debating bhi and yeah, yeah, yeah. theater ye wo yeah. sab mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. kar dala tha yeah. uh, school tak <laughs> mm-hmm. so i felt like this was a good extension of right. what i was Taking doing it forward, and yeah. you know but huh. the industry doesn't work like that it doesn't yeah and uh, it came crashing down and i guess for me the the best thing at that time to do was fashion industry has always taken me in with like wide arms hmm. um you know uh, all the fashion weeks that happen designers choreographers hmm. that's my family hmm but from you were like still modeling while you were doing all these acting movies gigs. and acting gigs but you were still modeling like a full time model yeah Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I had just stopped it when Karle Pyar Karle had come out okay. because I honestly felt like this you is my entry yeah. into yeah. Bollywood. Okay. Right, right. But did not But then you went back to modeling or no? Yeah, I continued after that. Okay. Mm. And uh it was a great uh few years. Mm. And you know, I was happy in that space. Right. Working for all the top designers and right. doing editorials and you know being in my city in Delhi, though I was that time in Bombay also, mm-hmm. but like back and forth doing a lot of work all over. Right. The modeling industry in India is also large and thriving and evolving It's every blooming, yes. year, and right. it keeps getting bigger right. and bigger. Yes. So I was happy in that space until COVID hit. Oh, COVID. So all of this has happened, and COVID <laughs> has already hit. It's already like how many years? So 2000. So I got married also in between. Right. Woohoo! Congratulations! <laughs> and uh, my husband and I, we uh, decided that he didn't want to be in Bombay. So then I was in <laughs> Delhi and no one wants him. to be in Bombay. Ha, I think <laughs> only the girls like Bombay because safety. Safety. Is, safety. Yeah. Free dam budget. The party can get. Right. True. <laughs> But uh, he, so we collectively decided that okay, this is going to be home. Right. And I'll travel back and forth for work. uh but then covid there was nothing so Zero. since kalle pyar which was in 2014 and then covid was in like 2021 so 20 you, covid was 2020, 2020 sorry yes. 2020 so is she beach be. mein you didn't like uh, get any acting gig i did not i did audition but nothing happened really nothing From was happening for me from 2014 to 2020 nothing. oh yeah industry wow. can be um, i mean that can like, happen to actors maybe it somewhere can. like i did an acting course also like i felt like to maybe i wasn't giving it my bit right. and you know karle karle pyar karle not working for the longest time for me also i felt like maybe this i'm hmm. school mein kiya hoga but what you, you do yeah. in school is not you something you didn't believe yeah. in yourself anymore this is this is a completely different world being right. on camera facing camera uh, being an actor is a different ball game yeah, altogether yeah and True. maybe i wasn't completely comfortable doing that hmm. and you know i was i was very happy with modeling right and i but you were auditioning uh, i was auditioning but i guess i wasn't giving my best 100%. that's why i was in landing but it but you were auditioning in delhi no bombay or in, Bom- oh, in bombay only. bombay okay. casting okay. directors in bombay like they yeah. had my numbers okay. and all by then i would get casting calls but, but I was nothing was just not making it yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I think also basis that film कर ले प्यार. I think any uh, field where you see okay this might just make it or you know make your career. After it not making it, you know there's certain level of confidence also that from this the confidence also goes down and the yeah. motivation to be able to project yourself the way it was before also somewhere in that you lose that yourself in transition. I feel because. It- You know the thing is, right after when you win something like a Miss India, yeah. right, and yeah. all the glamour and you know press attention, yeah. media yeah. and everyone and also that you've comes seen, with it, uh, ex yeah, yeah. Miss India, who uh, are, they have made it like big. Yeah, not all of them. Are happy. I mean, like you, you know a lot of big stars like Ashwarya Rai or yeah, Priyanka Chopra. Like oh, like Lara that the, era, yes. Yeah, Good you know they were like all from Neha the Lara Jats. Yeah, we, yeah, I mean, I've all looked up to yeah. these yeah, women, absolutely. and th- I think that's where the aspiration Even and dream came from. Even your launch was from the same director, right? Who launched Lara Datta and uh, yes, Priyanka Chopra. Sunil Darshan. Yes. Yeah, he yes. launched you, right? In Atras. So of course. Yeah. 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 Then it becomes like, okay, it's the same guy. So yeah. he's probably he knows the formula. Yeah. And yeah. it doesn't work. It didn't work. Yeah. yeah. It didn't work because the world had changed by that time. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Lara Datta yeah, and Priyanka's debut happened. Two thousand nineteen ninety. 
Four. Two, 1993. Exactly That's a decade ago. Yeah. Almost like, right. like yes. almost a decade ago. Yeah, right. And the formula, I guess, of filmmaking had also changed. changed. changed right. yeah. uh, the formula of uh, making it instantly had also been, hmm. it's gone. you know, it was very different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess um, I also somewhere did not know how to play the game well. Mm-hmm. Correct. Like I guess when you're in Bollywood, you need to be more seen, you need to go make friends, you need to Is have it? a circle, you need mm-hmm. to have this, you need to be, you need all that. I, I think I was just too naive initially. But does that really do that. work? Like if you go, because I've heard a lot of people say that you have to network, but then I've also heard a lot of good actors yeah. who are like, I can't do this, but I bring work to the table. And if that's not enough, then no. See, sometimes some people make it purely Without. based on talent yeah. and also i think luck great luck yeah luck is a big thing i mean I've, i've heard class 10th may or 12th may beta 99% is hard work but then that 1% is game changer as we call it luck yeah to wo 1% agar aapko saath nahi de rahe hain to aapko 99% goes down the tree like i yeah. think for me in my life my trajectory like what i noticed is for me it's always been like this yeah i have seen ups and great no work downs, yeah. no work work coming again no work again and then i've seen that yeah. happen mm. a the lot the has been going um up. which also is true for a lot of people i yeah. guess i guess people just don't speak, speak about, about it, it as correct. openly and as i do i guess i don't know I which mean, is really bold of you because <laughs> yeah i think about time people should talk do about talk about it yeah failures you know? yeah. because we i feel like vulnerability is so nice it to is. show that side where things didn't work also out for it me. makes you human i think failure makes you so human because who's like right now i don't know anybody who's like worked for 10 years or so and never failed like of course how is yeah. it possible yeah. there is no way yeah like we all had that one year in school in 11th whether when we were not 80 90 percenters right 11th mein sabke marks kam aate accounts mein to bhai my teacher so like sal mein sab sab ka hoga iska 12th mein kuch nahi ho sakta so yeah we all yeah but uh, because you started out as a model right now also i'm sure you're modeling and you did pageants yeah. so what do you like what's your you obviously won one but Do, what's your uh, idea of a pageant like what do you think is it a good thing for the society for girls who want to get into pageants and like how do you see pageants i s- always see it very positively oh really mm-hmm. i love the world the pageant world uh, no matter how much people deride it about you know saying that okay it has created a certain body image yeah. Oh, yeah. and only such and such kind of right. girls can now participate right miss india has also changed its guidelines a lot now, over the years yeah, like the age criteria height the height criteria correct um you know it, you don't always have to be a certain frame or size hmm. or anything it has evolved over time oh, really? so that you can be uh, a little thick and still be in uh, miss india yeah what really? is it yeah in fact a year before me there were a few uh, candidates and even after me there were a few girls who were quite full not everyone was like oh really like Deep scrawny like, yeah. or like really uh, well okay. built like fit and all. body hmm. but at the same time i feel like the pageant world is a great space if you just put the whole conversation about body image aside hmm. and you know how it's creating stereotypes if we right. just try and eliminate that a little bit and talk about the level of grooming and confidence and exposure yeah. it gives girls mm-hmm. especially like me who even though i was performing all through my school life mm-hmm. you know somewhere that little stage fright you know that little um f- not feel like nervousness mm. anxiety being on stage representing myself all of those that entire grooming the way it opens you up mm. to does. talking to an audience and yeah. um like I don't know if I dress up well because I really feel I'm very jhalla but people <laughs> ask me okay how how do I do my hair how do I do my skin how can I do this somewhere it has come from somewhere yeah. right? it no, it has come from that pageant right. world Dreaming. that has taught me so many things we had like great mentors teaching us of how to walk how to talk how to sit table manners but then again isn't the, this like against you know typing how a girl should sit how a girl should stand how a girl should walk and how she should eat this is again i i know they say it's grooming them but then that's what i'm saying like you're grooming them in a certain way like if i do not like for example we yeah. we indians eat with our hands right yeah. 
for Miss in, uh, Miss India to eat with her hands on that stage. I'm sure they're not teaching you that. They're teaching you how to eat with a fork and a knife. Because Table manners. The thing is, in India, hmm. across cultures, hmm. we have different ways of eating. Correct. And they have different scientific meaning behind it. Correct. Yeah. If in some cultures, you sit down and you eat with your hand right. and it's supposed to mean something Correct. to be good for your body, hmm. that is something as Indians we are very proud of. Correct. We do it. But when you are in a at in a country with 90 other people hmm. and sitting with all of them, they are eating in a certain way. If Correct. you start doing something else, right. the beauty first of all of us Indians is we are so adaptable, which is why we are all over the globe. Globe, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I was about to say when that. When we come know. home, is when we sit down and we eat with our hands yeah, and we absolutely. pray and we do all that. Yeah. But if you put in a, in a space where there are people from the entire global civilization, you can be part of that and be like them as well. That is the only thing that the pageant world is teaching you. And yeah, It's you know, not the taking girls. away who you are, right? It's just making you or giving you an advanced way of probably because you're representing India with different other countries. In no way is the pageant world trying to say that no one's setting a yardstick ke, agar aap ye nahi karte ho, you are not a girl hmm. but they're just grooming you better which any school I guess also does right hmm. Bilkul. Uh, Bilkul a school also we, as children we go the whole aim is to groom us educate us so that hmm. we are educated and therefore land we get into graduation we land a good job right, right. so that's Koi the whole hi hai process, na, process being hmm. on camera hmm. how to talk Right. What is your voice? All those things have just kind of helped me further in the Absolutely. industry. Right. Yeah. But I feel like, okay, so, isse, like I'll tell you one instance, which, just ke pehle na, uh, pageants weren't really problematic to me. Like for hmm. me, they were pageants. They're like beautiful, hmm. you know, girls on stage. Khubsur ladke haan. Doing things I could never do. Like hmm. really, I could never relate to anybody in the pageant. Because hmm. they you? didn't look like me. I mean, I couldn't carry those outfits that they were. And like, Hmm. Just the way they would walk, the heels that they would wear, nothing. Hmm. I could do nothing that so they relate could. Nahi kar pa no relatability, hmm. but I didn't find it problematic. I thought that it was okay, it was okay, it was okay, it was okay. They are aspirational space. maybe ah. for hmm. me, but not problematic. Till I heard yeah. this one interview uh, where uh, Shushmita said, I hope I am not quoting her wrong, I hope it was her only. But one pageant winner, I think it was her only, hmm. she was giving this interview where the same question was asked that, what do you think about pageants? And she said that, you know, so many years later, I feel like it's problematic because now I look back at my journey and I look at it like there are this bunch of girls standing in like, she was talking about the bikini round. So she was like, we're standing in these bikinis in front of these judges and they are going to tell me if I am pulling it out, pulling it off right or not. And now I feel like it's so wrong. Like, why am I letting this bunch of people tell me if this bikini is looking good on me or her? But like, tell me one thing, sorry, I'm going to cut you. My point is that eventually, actor or model, it's our choice, right? It is my choice. Correct. Eventually, I can't say this, I can't blame this, that you judge me because I am giving that as an actor, 24 hours, I'm sure, as an actor, even as a model, hmm. your 24 hours, you know, pure din ya, uh, jab bhi aap on stage bhi ho, you have given that to the judges to judge you. That is to true. To the critics ki bhai aapki movie, ab main movie kar rahi hu, mujhe pata hai ki 10,000 log acha bhi bolenge, 50,000 log acha ganda bolenge. Nee, that is so true. That's Every the, time, but you, you know, know, I have one thing to say. Hmm. Um, you know, I love Sushmita Sen hmm. and uh, I think she's a great orator and yeah. the way she speaks, she also speaks yeah. from the heart. So somewhere it has come from a sense of not wanting to be objectified and looked and right. you know she after Correct. many years in hindsight she must have felt ke yaar, huh. what, why, why was I doing that it? introspection right. why yeah. should anybody else tell me that my body Correct. is not good hmm. Correct. or Correct. whether it's great or something yeah. hmm. or it is even better like whose is better right but eventually there's one winner huh. right but if you look at it these how many ever girls go to that pageant huh. i think 16 or something what's like the number of people I, who reach there i think there? for miss universe or miss world most of these international pageants are about 20 to 20 yeah so just 20, imagine this is like no actually 90 or 85 countries participate they and together. then they keep uh, like 20 uh, of them have uh, sorry miss india space. level pe 22 yeah. hote, huh? so it's like all around the world mm. these were 20 people who made it there and we are still going to narrow it down, down to one so it's like it's 
आई एम जस्ट एनी एनी वेज एनी थिंग दैट इज यू नो पुटिंग यू ऐसे कि मतलब ये फर्स्ट आई सेकेंड आई आई हैव अ प्रॉब्लम विद दैट बिकॉज आई एम लाइक कि मतलब स्पेशली ऑन बेसिस ऑफ लुक्स एंड ये है ना उसका कैटेगरी कि हाउ आर यू लुकिंग इट्स अ कॉम्पिटिशन करेक्ट लेट्स जस्ट लुक एट इट एज एज सिंपली एज दैट इट्स अ कॉम्पिटिशन बट इट्स कॉम्पिटिशन हैज टू बी वन विनर there has to be one winner so they'll have to cut it down and finally have one so yeah. that the first of all does not even go on to say ke baki sab acche nahi the hmm. problem is you have to it's a competition the nature of one. a competition is such you have to decide correct. for second theek hai yeah. secondly i just while we were having this conversation i just remembered i'd seen one interview of dipika also where hmm. she said that i never wanted to put myself through competitions like a pageant right. though everyone when she started modeling had told her ki you must go to a pageant you must win and you right. will definitely win, win. Yeah. she's like i never wanted to put myself in that space where i was compared to the others correct hmm. and which is also fair correct aapko nahi apne apne aap ko judge karwana in comparison exactly. to someone else exactly aapki choice hai na that's but choice agar aap gaye ho pageant mein hmm. aur aapko wo karna hai see i had grown up seeing pageants when i was a little girl i used to see gulpana i used to see hmm. neha dupia i used to see correct. all I'm, i'm also from the fauji background my dad oh. was in the army okay. so we used to feel like yaar wow what growth oh my god hmm. mere liye wo aspiration thi because i felt like miss india was the only platform that could really give me something that i wanted to do correct. like ek ye stepping stone mere liye ban jayega hmm. correct so i willingly went करेक्ट आप विलिंगली अपने आप को उसमें डाल रहे हो ना आपको नहीं पसंद है तो मत डालो लाइक डोंट गो इन इट इफ यू फील लाइक दीपिका सेड आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी जज इन कंपेरिजन टू अदर्स बिल्कुल बिकॉज ऑल ब्यूटी इज ग्रेट ब्यूटी एंड वाई इज माइंड बेटर और हर्स बेटर मेरे को वो उसमें नहीं पढ़ना है जाना ही नहीं है बिकॉज वो चॉइस उनकी थी एंड ऑफ द डे वी थ्री मेक हम यहाँ बैठे इट्स अ चॉइस की You it's know. a personal choice okay, like no, no, no. another thing i'll quote i think akshay kumar had said this and hmm. i heard it through uh, someone hmm. he said someone on one set in the morning was being very cranky and hmm. being like kya kya hai kya hai which happens i think hmm. and everyone on one hmm. day on a job yeah. yeah, mai ko nahi karna ye kya ho raha hai late hai ye hai khana nahi hai mummy se mummy ne bheja hai kya hmm. that's as simple as yeah. that, that, i think he said it like that hmm. ke mummy ne bheja hai kya tum apne aap aaye ho yahan par hmm. exactly So, if you have willingly come here, please do your job and please do it the and way it is it. done. See, yeah. a pageant is set mm-hmm. in a certain format, which many many years ago, even if I look at it from today's point of view, it was very regressive. The way women were judged, it was like very, you know, certain kind of hair, certain kind right. of body type, right. certain things. It has evolved a little. Much time. It, yeah. Not much. I would still say that I agree. Correct. It has evolved a little where. height criteria has come down age criteria has changed um a lot of girls even your communication like you know a lot of girls from all over the country now participate in miss india also happens at a very regional level hmm. Hmm. it happens in different regions and states hmm. Hmm. so things are changing to try and make it all inclusive but this is a change that will happen also takes very time. gradually right. it will take right. its it takes time. time and um, at international pageants now there are so many countries hmm. uh, where women do not feel comfortable to wear a bikini right hmm. so they come fully clad yeah. in okay. the bikini round because yeah. that's a choice, choice and that is allowed by the judges yeah. hmm. where they feel like okay you don't want to this is not something yeah. we absolutely accept it yeah. correct so uh, i feel i mean i mean it's seen a little it's, problematic it's never black and white you for guys me. actors cannot argue with them that aapka hmm. bollywood like You always wanted to be an actor, actor, or or maybe जैसे हमारे मेरे मेरे लिए जो मेरा role model थे ना जब मैं छोटी थी राजा हिंदुस्तानी movie आई थी ठीक है तो उसमें वो एक dialogue था ना you come come मेम साहब you come so I was like <laughs> यार ये movies में कैसे how are people so creative that they come up with such random but yeah. it makes they make it sound so तो मेरे को हमेशा से ना आमिर खान as an actor बहुत पसंद थे और मैं था यार एक तो भाई इनके साथ you know uh-huh. so aapki life mein bhi in fact hum sabki life mein to who was that role model as an actor for you oh before she answers i want to tell you because this is what i've heard this morning with like i told you i was talking you and your interviews yeah. so you Stalkers. in your first oh. uh, this not your first movie now because it's love aajkal kalle pyar ki jab promotion chal rahi thi so you had said they asked you who would you like to work in the industry and you said all the khans and then the th- fourth person was ranveer kapoor You said Ranbir Kapoor in that oh, interview. I forgot. Oh, totally. yeah, I was listening to this interview. And I was like, "Do she manifested it from like twenty? <laughs> <20." laughs> 
2014 crazy dude just happened right you know that when i was in college i had a huge crush on him oh like, really and okay. i used to be like ha huh, i want to like oh my god so you so like, how did you I... like after 6 years like 2014 uh, juti like to juti mein makar is the next thing that you get ha hmm. Oh, that's direct you get to Juti yeah. Memakar. Yeah. Oh, so okay, tell us. Now tell us. How so did this happen? Actor, who or actress, anyone? Actress. I think I really like Tabu. Tabu. Hmm. That's an nice. interesting answer. As an actress. Yeah, I had yeah. seen Marches. Oof, mm. what a movie. Yeah. And I've seen a lot of her subsequent work, work after yeah. that. Mm. Like yeah. I, till today. Uh, the variety and versatility that, that she can carry has. off as an actor Absolutely. is great. Yeah. I've always liked her. Hmm. Um so I think she was kind of someone who I the, that that, that kind of work I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. But at the same time I was very like so meri honestly ambition Miss India tak thi. Acha. Mera hmm. utna hi tha. Acha. But like ek bar annual day school mein tha we were standing <laughs> at the wings. Bahut hi sweet. <laughs> FOS auditorium mein we used to have our hmm. DPS ke annual days and i remember one of the rehearsal days we wings me piche khade hue the about to ready go perform in front of our dance teacher hmm. and come back and one of my friends asking me we were just having a conversation about what we want to be and do and someone's talking about some profession lawyer doctor, doctor ye wo no hmm. what do you want i want to be a miss india you said and that? one girl wow. she's like <laughs> 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 uh, so you were again manifested it mera ut wahi tak tha ambition see you manifesting puri puri ho rahi hai you know dogi <laughs> and because i used to grow up watching that time miss india on watching on television yeah. hmm. in, at home was hmm. a big thing it hmm. was yeah. and uh, i think coming from the fauji background hamare uh, like in uh, army navy air force girls ka hamara ek make queen pageant hota hai oh acha oh. so ek wo pageant at a very young girl 16 17 hmm. years hmm. ke level pe hota hai and when you participate in that then you keep looking at all the other girls Correct. from there who branched out and went into miss india Correct. or Correct. like gulp nagni adu pia priyanka chopra lara datta sushmita sen all of them are from um uh, um yeah oh my god that's where the to mera aspiration miss india tak tha oh acha theek miss india banna hai ha which was laughed upon but it happened But the thing is, I think as a person also, I like your child. Now what next? Correct. Of course. Now this is done. So now what is going to happen? Next, yeah. next hmm. level. Now how to take it to the next yeah. level? And I enjoyed acting. Hmm. I like. Hmm. I like doing it. it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So how did it happen? Now I just want to know that six years of the gap. Straight to Ranbir Kapoor land. Yeah. How did it happen? <laughs> Opposite to not land. Can't. That's so okay. So what? Very. Like, as an actor, I feel as long as you get to work. Yeah. with the right actor yeah it depends whatever character that is at the end of the day how well you play that character and honestly your character really you know stood out maine wo movie meri behan aur mummy ke sath dekhi thi meri behan again a ranbir kapoor fan so am i so is my mum okay so hum tino sirf ranbir kapoor ke liye gaye the but all the characters really yeah. did come out so yeah. well especially the ending of the film yeah. so yeah. you know it it was a roller coaster the movie was yeah. so i feel however that character was it really was nice so really kudos to you thank you i think more than that more than me i was just like the mouthpiece mm-hmm. love sir had yeah. written the lines, lines i mean it was him yeah. round mm-hmm. modi uh, who was the creative director on the film mm-hmm. they would like on an everyday basis just think up it it wasn't a ready script from the beginning oh. huh. it was every day Achha. changing and they were writing new dialogues and they were making it like oh, wow. uh, like as per what they were seeing us as huh. characters also oh. we were shooting the film for almost a year and a half to two years oh really which mein covid aa gaya tha second wave aa gayi thi that hmm. kept getting extended hmm. but they had the leisure to see us as individual personalities and write Hmm. So I think the main credit goes to them because yeah, they understand the human psyche. psychology. Hmm. Ke bhen kaise dantegi? Because a lot hmm. of women have been walking up to me and saying, "Oh, I also scold my brother like this." Ah. <laughs> oh, it was so ah. like natural. Exactly, real. So I think hmm. it, they uh, firstly it's them who did it, and I got a good part good that part. got noticed. Correct. Hmm. Because as an actor, you want that. Absolutely. Kalle pyar kalle could not do that. Yeah. But with this, even though it wasn't a main role. Right. But I got that it little. It was there, yeah. Uh, like people know that she's a face. Because Lord, when I'm walking on the street, people are like, "Hmm, देख रहा कहीं कहाँ देख रहा है?" Oh, and then I only then said, "तू झूठी मैं मकार देखी है अपने?" मैं ही थी वो बहन. Right. But by Ranbir Kapoor के साथ, how was it? Like <coughs> work experience and his act as an actor. हाँ. कैसे? How professional is he? Because I've heard he's 
quite professional when he comes in time he knows his line he knows his character and all of that he was he was there on set yeah. he is i think a director's actor. actor he says hmm. it himself in his hmm. interviews also uh whatever a director demands from him he will do it hmm. Hmm. whether that requires him to be on set for 18 20 hours oh, wow. he oh. will never say a word yeah. and i think that's a professional ethic that i learned from him, from him. Hmm. because sometimes you know we would like or other actors hmm. would get a little tired hmm. and exhausted and be like yaar why are we doing this scene so many times kitne takes ho rahe hain like ab ghar chalo ab ye time want to sleep and all that thing crankiness he would never say and he would look fresh he would keep sipping his coffee keep eating something be like all proper ready for the shot, shot. not say anything hmm. and we're like ranbir kapoor ne kuch keh raha to hum kya bolenge ha ye us dog na that's the level of professionalism one he, thing i've learned yeah, yeah. and um, he is a fantastic so actor mm. so well prepared yeah. always hmm. knows his lines never hmm. never forgets fumbles, fumbles. there was one scene in the end when he finally comes and his mother confronts him tu jhooti mein makka dimple ma'am <laughs> and i am there ke kyu uh, tune aise kiya yeah, and he is huh. crying also hmm we did that scene multiple times where he walks in he had counted the number of steps, steps. because every time it was cut and redo he would walk back, back. the same yeah. number Oh. so that he walked till the, the mark mm-hmm. right you cannot skip the mark right mm-hmm. right he would walk till there Crazy. he would start saying his lines and in between somewhere in those lines the he tear cried. drop had to fall at a particular word what and he was Landed doing it? it exactly the same for multiple takes so is he crying without that what, what do you put glycerin dalte hai na pehle is he crying without that I'm not sure. I think he must have maybe. Yeah, well, I didn't see that. Real name Rose, to be honest. Yeah, he's a great actor. Need to be still use that. Like, are yeah, you yeah. still using it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. If some because you can't always naturally <laughs> cry. Yeah, yeah. Drop a tear, so huh. you need extra help hmm. uh, to do that. You have to feel the emotion. Right. But kabi kabi wo soup jata hai. Ha. Correct. Ha. Sahi me. The retail gore. Maybe he must have used it, hmm. but then you know. I because I was just looking at that in the middle of acting also hmm. I used to still be in awe of like whatever he was doing there must be days no ki aap you sitting as you and suddenly flashback of that character comes to you and you will like snap out of it does that you know happens with you now that I look back to I been able to disconnect disconnect there's been some time hmm. now since cat released but i think immediately after that hmm. tha thoda that little lingering on of babita on to hasleen it kind of leached on hmm. yeah. it had its effects on me that whole mental trauma yes. going through feeling like that and being like in angst in that whole she was in that stage of hmm. life na ke hmm. matlab uski life hi itni koi khas to rahi nahi hai hmm. babita's character hmm. and uh, though she she's achieved something she's become an asi punjab right. police she's doing her job hmm. sincere cop hai ye hai wo hai hmm. but a little bit of the sadness might have leached on to me hmm. right after that after that which could have lingered on for some time hmm. now i think it's off but it happens it like hmm. because you're trying to live the person and feeling for you try to create empathy for the Absolutely. character ki yeah. kya hua hoga you're hmm. trying to live ke think about it from that their perspective actually you wanted to <laughs> talk about what uh, casting couch <laughs> no 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 like any bad experience that you had like what's your worst that like you're like i've been looked i've been looked up and down in hmm. the first two meeting in the first two minutes of a meeting with a very very big director producer hmm i'd entered his office yeah and he just sized me top to bottom so firstly i felt like i was being judged, judged. for the way i look you know ऐसे करके पूरा एंड वो आंखों में एज वीमेन वी कैन वी रिसीव मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन दैन पीपल आर ट्राइंग टू डोंट गिव अस क्रेडिट फॉर वी कैन टेल बाय द लुक ऑफ सम वन व्हाट हिज इंटेंशंस आर ओके आई कुड सेंस इट एनीवेज आई वेंट वॉक्ड सैट इन दोस टू मिनट्स ही हैड डिसाइडेड कि इसका तो कुछ नहीं होने वाला ये लड़की तो नथिंग शी विल नॉट बी एबल टू indulge in the conversation that i want to have with her oh okay so like that, yeah. as you know, coded way if i may correct, if i'm correct. trying to put it yeah. uh, if um, he knew ke she has she wants to make it on the basis of her talent thank you oh so you had to leave ab ja sakti it was time aapka kaam talent bahut sara hai we'll call you back we'll let you know 
calling it out the me too movement right calling it out has changed the game a lot Achha. now mm-hmm. i think or oh, did it actually like do anything oh, yeah, i see. i think so to yeah. a very large extent okay uh, where somewhere if it was happening very mm-hmm. rampantly and when mm-hmm. in your face kind of mm-hmm. a thing now people Same. are like okay they are scared to become the case i don't know if yeah. it like if someone starts more if, you know becomes a uh, say something about it or hmm. it becomes comes into the media and all that so media is also very powerful now correct yeah and anything can just be on it and yeah. it can it'll like up, yeah. it'll blow up yeah so somewhere that has started happening so things have changed but yeah it was a great chat i Absolutely, think right yes. thank you so much thank yeah, you for you so joining much. us thank you so Love much guys yeah. it was a great conversation Absolutely. i hope you had fun i did <laughs> i did and we get to see you in more movies so. yes yes fingers crossed thank you for wishing that yes. for me yeah thank you definitely ta da okay bye bye <laughs> bye guys <laughs>